అందరికీ నమస్కారములు నమో నమ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ టుడే ఈజ్ ద సెకండ్ డే ఆఫ్ అవర్ క్లాసెస్ ఆన్ షోడస సంస్కారములు బై డాక్టర్ సోమాంచి తంగరాల సోమాక్షి గారు సో లెట్ ఎస్ స్టార్ట్ ద సెషన్ విత్ వందే మాతరం బై చల్లా చిట్టుబాబు గారు అండ్ ప్రార్థనా బై షాండిండియా గారు చల్లా చిట్టుబాబు గారు వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం సుజల సుఫల మలయజీతల సస్యమల మాతరం వందే మాతరం శుభ్రజ్యోస్నాపులకితయామిని పుల్లకుసుమిత ద్రుమదళశోభి సుహాసిని సుమధురభాషిణి సుఖదా వరదా మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం వందే మాతరం ధన్యవాదములండి సో నౌ లెట్ ఇస్ గో ఫర్ ప్రార్థన షండిల గారు ప్లీజ్ సర్వేభ్య శుభోదయం ఇట్స్ ఫస్ట్ మెడిటేట్ ఫర్ ఎ మినిట్ కైండ్లీ ప్లీజ్ క్లోజ్ యువర్ ఐస్ టేక్ ఎ డీప్ బ్రెత్ అండ్ కాన్సన్ట్రేట్ ఆన్ యువర్ బ్రెత్ ఓంకారము ఒక మూడు సార్లు చెప్తుందా అండి ప్రాణపతి హవామహే కవి కవీనాపమస్రవస్తమ జ్యేష్ఠరాజం బ్రహ్మణ బ్రహ్మణస్పతాన్నశృణ్వన్నూతిసీదసాధనం ఓం శ్రీ మహాగణాధిపత నమ ప్రణోదేవి సరస్వతీ వాజేర్వాజినీవతి ధీనామ విద్యవతు ఓం శ్రీ మహాసరస్వత్యే నమ గురురేవ గతి గురుమేవ భజే గురునైవ సహాస్మి నమో గురవే న గురో పరమం శిశురస్మి గురో మతిరస్తి గురౌ మాం పాహి గురూ జ్ఞానందమయం దేవం నిర్మల స్ఫటికృతి ఆధారం సర్వ విద్యాగ్రీవనుపాస్మహే శృతిస్మృతి పురాణం ఆలయం కరుణాలయం నమామి భగవత్పాదం శంకరం లోకశంకరం శంకరం శంకరాచార్యం కేశవం బాదరాయణం సూత్రభాష్యకృతౌ వందే భగవంతౌ పున పున ఈశ్వరో గురురాత్మేతి మూర్తిభేద విభాగినే 
ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃಚ್ಚೋರ್ಮ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಮಾತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಪಿತೃದೇವೋ ಭವ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಅತಿಥಿ ದೇವೋ ಭವ ಓಂ ಸಹನಾತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನತ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾಷಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸರ್ವೇ ಜನ ಸುಖ್ನೋಭವಂತು ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಮಲಂಡಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ನಾವು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಟು ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದ ವೆಬಿನಾರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾಗಣಾಧಿಪತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ರಾಜರಾಜೇಶ್ವರಾಭ್ಯಾಂ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮೇಧ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತ್ಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಿವಾಯ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ ಓಂ ನಮ ಶಿವಾಯ we are talking about the shoda samskaras and two samskaras we could complete yesterday and we also uh, understand what is samskara how to do samskara and all, all those points now srimantam or simantam we say srimanta unnayanam is the third samskara among prenatal samskaras this is the most important one and uh, it is not only just a samskara it is also a sort of festival this right is a ceremony in which the parents of the pregnant girl uh, come to the inlaws house and then that is her inlaws house and either fifth month or seventh month or ninth month also sometimes and they per- of the pregnant girl then they perform the ritual srimantam and take their daughter to their house for uh, happy delivery so in connection with this uh, sacrament on the on any auspicious day the couple wife and husband should take holy bath we say apyangana snana with applying oil and all and then they have to worship their family deity kula devatas then ishta devatas and all the husband should look at his face in a vessel full of either water or cow ghee after taking bath and worshiping he has to see his own face uh, when wife and husband both are sitting then he asks his wife what she is seeing when he is seeing his face even she sees uh, her husband's face then when he questions what you are seeing uh, while seeing the reflection of uh, her husband then she ma- that the husband's face she should reply that she is looking at their son at their offspring santana because atma vai putra nama si we say it is understood that the father is taking birth again as the son that is why uh, the wife is called as jaya ja means to take birth again the husband is taking birth in the form of son through her so on that auspicious day the husband himself should comb the hair of his wife parting the hair into two parts from the head the pregnant wife will be enjoying the simanta unnayana festival done to her so he would braid her hair into coils jada and decorate with flower garland then he should comb her hair with the thorn of the hedge hog we say mulla pandi in our telugu and draw with that thorn a straight line from the navel of the wife to the upper part of the head up to the sahasrara from here to this part doing so will stimulate her nervous system excellently so it makes it easy for the baby to be born uh, come normally for normal delivery it helps so this is one of the most important rituals performed for pregnant women where she enjoys a lot 
religious rituals are there and social uh, benefits are there and personally she enjoys a lot because all this is done to her and she is the main attraction so on that auspicious day again the husband advises her his wife he preaches the ishta devata mantra to his wife mostly mangala gauri mantra only mangala gauri devi mantra so that would be called as mantra upadesha uh, husband should give mantra upadesha to the wife until then he is her husband and friend now because he is he has given this mantra upadesha he becomes guru to her and he should be the guru and mentor to her so from then onwards she will start chanting that mantra throughout her life and will gain that divine power by the chanting of mantra as a result the child would be born with devotion and becomes very cultured so this gives the child mental a uh, mental refinement while still in the womb of the mother because whatever the mother is listening or reading or experiencing or feeling all those will have a very good impact on the child so this ritual is performed for the health and well being of the mother and for the longevity of unborn child and for her husband so it is essential for the mother to be physically and mentally very healthy this simanta or srimanta unnaina would be uh, performed as a social festival and gives uh, happiness to her then her in laws of both the sides and all they become very happy and all the relatives also and friends also take part here all sister in laws brother in laws nieces all relatives so at that time on that time she should be seated on a very nice seat Uh, facing east side then after keeping kunkuma on her forehead they smear her feet with the turmeric paste then keep parani we say so then apply sandalwood paste to the neck to put flower garland to her then bangles would be uh, put to both her hands that bangle should be either 19 or 21 to each hand it should be and right hand should have one extra um, bangle always so that is our custom it may depend on different it may differ depending upon their own customs then uh, her mother fills her lap with fruit sweets and then later we call as chalimidi odibiyam we say odibiyam means odi means the lap and b means the rice with uh, some sort of dal we say pesarapappu that is for coolness so it is called as green grams so and then after that the mother keeps chalimidi which is uh, prepared with a sata that is rice flour mixed with jaggery ghee and all and there is a process of preparing that keeping in the stove and all so the ladies later give good harati to her and bless her to uh, deliver to have normal delivery and then have give birth to a good um, either baby any baby male or female but um, putravati bhava or suputra like that anyone they may give as his blessings then akshatas with the akshintalu we say akshatas we bless anyone so akshatas are made with the mixture of rice with turmeric a little kunkuma and a little ghee rice uh, or favorable grams to moon god moon moon is favorable to us our mind very cool and pleasant and happy so <clears throat> turmeric and kunkuma are mangalya dravyas we say uh, as objects they give good auspices to us the unborn child would be born with the qualities of elegance beauty health and virtues the three rites the garbhadana pumsavana and simanta are performed before the birth of the child for the 
longevity and good health of the unborn baby, the mother, father, and all, uh, and wishing good to the dynasty. So, uh, this is the Simanta. Then later, Jata, kar Jata Karma, we say. Jata means Jana, Ja means to take birth. Ja, Jayate, we say. Jata means born. Karma means action. Any sacrament, good work done. So, Jata Karma is a word made with the combination of these two words, Jata and Karma. So, this karma means doing any rituals or called as karmas, not ordinary works. So, to take birth, jana, ja, we say. So, when the child is about to be born, then this jata karma starts and it proceeds a little after just the child, the baby is born. So, it continues till the nala. Uh, which connects the mother to the baby is cut till the time asaucha will not come. Later, when that the moment that is cut, the uh, that uh, asaucha we say that comes. So after that, for eleven days they have to observe. Then after on eleventh day again, when they take holy bath and become auspicious, purify the surroundings and all. Then again that uh, jata asaucha has gone. Again, they have to donate, do all pujas, rituals, and all. So, all this actually, Umaniru, we say. So, the Jata Karma is the first ritual done to the child just before the birth and after the baby's birth. So, it is the first ritual which brings the newly born baby in contact with human life. So, it is performed to reduce the risk of swallowing the amniotic fluid water, we call it as womaniru. So sometimes the baby mostly each child swallows at least a little when it is in the womb of the mother. And also to increase the longevity, intellect and luster of the child, we perform these rituals. So the rituals of Kumsavana and Simanta are performed with the intention that the delivery should be normal. And the baby should come out easily. But now, but sometimes the baby in the womb turns across, turns cross, crosswise, we say, or puts intestines over the head, over the neck. And I, because the baby will be in, in such a different position, automatically when the movement of hands and legs are occurring, then that nerve comes over the neck. Then, of course, nowadays hospitals are there, doctors are there, and they are taking care of them. But in the olden days, they used to know this just by holding the pulse of the, of the pregnant lady. So they come to know about it. So at that time, uh, either the girl's father or father-in-law or anyone who, uh, in those days, all people, they used to know the mantras, they used to chant. Vedic mantras regularly. So they should uh, chant certain Vedic mantras uh, sitting outside the delivery room. So that mantras in the Jata Karma Sukta is there. Jata Karma Suktas. So they say that if this sort of uh, situation arises, then her husband should sit by the by the side and he should help her just by rubbing a little and making the bones loose so that the baby may uh, turn face downward and delivery becomes normal. So such help uh, is needed. Nowadays, of course, the sisters are doing in the hospital and even in the olden days, Mantrasani used to do all this. So the stem of sunflower plant, we say, that should be grinded and be used properly. Suppose the uh, kid is not coming down or any of this intestine is put over the neck. So to make the baby normal and the head should turn out down. So for that, they used to apply this sunflower plant stems, uh, grinded uh, that uh, juice like that. So then that time in the womb uh, of the mother, 
the baby will turn to normal position and comes out easily. That is normal delivery occurs. So normally nurse is called as mantrasani. She helps in delivering, uh, delivery in doing this delivery. So Shastra says that while the baby is coming out, when the head comes out and the nose is seen, immediately that time should be noted down as the birth time of the baby. So depending on that time, the Jataka Chakra of the baby would be written by the astrologer, Jyotis Shastra Vetas, we say. As soon as the baby is born, immediately the navel cord is cut while the baby is in the Mother's womb, mostly the baby, uh, completely, the baby gets food through that nala only, that navel uh, cord. So now after the delivery, uh, that uh, umbilical, umbilical cord, they say, which connects the mother to the baby, is cut and detached and it uh, protrudes, which slowly merges and the navel becomes normal. Normally, that is way to the newly born baby till a few months. The navel would be a little, uh, it looks as if it is above coming. It is seen clearly and slowly it goes inside and becomes normal. So that umbilical cord has the power to reduce the future illnesses of the baby. So it is called as the umbilatory uh, cord in medical terms. So it is preserved in a silver tube or copper tube with a lid made into a sort of amulet, we say tayatu, and the tayatu would be tied to baby's waist on the 11th day after Purity Snanam is over. Nowadays, these umbilical cords are being preserved in a certain medical banks. They charge approximately 50,000 to 80,000 or even 1 lakh or even more also to preserve that. But in the olden days, they used to keep it just with the body of the baby only whenever in normally no necessity comes. If at all any necessity comes, immediately they can use it. If it is kept in the medical bank, they have to go there and get it collected. So this Thayatu, as we call amulet, that is the Raksha that is for the protection of the baby. So from that moment, the baby's navel cord is cut. The jata ashaucha, that is called the impurity of the birth. It occurs to the parents and also the uh, people, all the dynasty people wow. with the same name. Uh, that is uh, that um, what we call gotra, sagotri kulu. So for them, it comes. So that lasts for 10 days on 11th day, the purity, when that Mangala Snana is done, that would be, the Mangala Snana would be given to the baby first and then to the mother. So after that, the Purity Snana, this Sasocha completely goes. Then all the surroundings, normally in the olden days, they used to keep a separate room for this delivery and this, uh, till these 11 days, the mother used to stay there with some, persons taking care of her. So, before the birth, actually, before the commencement of this Jata Ashaucha, before the birth of the child, intending the welfare of the child and also development of the dynasty, the father should do the Sedanas or Dwada Sedana or Dwada Sedanas to the worthy people and to Brahmins and those who are uh, very noble and worthy of receiving the dhanas. And godana should be done specially, particularly. That would be for the welfare of all mother, father, child. So, and uh, dhana, dhanya, so many navadhanyas, they donate so many things, all dhanas they have to do. For the livelihood of sad Brahmins, they must provide the provisions for their livelihood also. When Sri Krishna Paramatma was born, then Vasudeva, on seeing the face of that wonderful boy, wonderful child, uh, he got harripulated with immense happiness. He became extremely excessive, that is, um, overwhelmed with bliss. 
then then and there at that very moment uh, he because he could not do such a lasnana because he was kept in that jail so mentally with manasika smarana he did such a lasnana and immediately he manasika dana mentally he uh, donated 10000 cows with calves decorated with gold horns and all to sat brahmanas so that is the uh, procedure of our sanatana dharma in fact so when he was released of those bonds of the jail then later actually he really donated all these cows which he did once with manasika now at uh, repalle when nanda maharaja heard that he got a jail then immediately he took holy bath with the same cloths sachela snana we say chela means cloth sachela means along with the cloths with which they are wearing with the same cloths they have to take head bath and then become pure then after wearing new pious silk cloths a uh, supra vastras we say uh, he did swasti punyaha vachaka sandal so he decorated two lakhs of milky cows with the calves with uh, golden uh, that is with gold to the to the heart uh, horns of all the cows and he donated two lakhs of such cows to brahmins because he got a son so shastra says as soon as the father hears about the birth of a child should immediately do sachela snana putre jate tu pituhu snanam sachelastu vithiyate yavan na pijyate nadam tavan naapnoti sutakam chinne nale tatak paschat sutakastu vithiyate apastamba grukhya sutra say that as soon as the son is born the father can see the face of the son by seeing the face of the son he would be relieved of pitru runa then the ancestors and forefathers become very happy jata matre tu kumarasya mukham pyavalotayet runa vimuchyate pita putrasya mukha darshanat so it is the duty of mother and father to see that the child is born safe and with sound health carefully Uh, without any defects then the jata karma should be performed in order to see that any bala grahas uh, do not overpower the child that is to prevent the child from getting infected with uh, planetary problems problems of planets graha nakshatra sandal elders speak about 12 kinds of naraka bathas the jiva to stay in the mother's womb is one such batha it is said to be very sad to be in the womb of uh, mother gartha vasa dosha we say so jata karma is the first vedic right performed when the baby is just about to born and just after the birth of the child when the embryo stays in the in mother's womb so what all defects occur to the baby on account of following that uh, water of the stomach etc they are to be removed and auspiciousness should occur so for the sake of that the parents perform this jata karma samskara gartha nivasa dosha nivaranartham dushta graha peeda nivaranartham shishu metho vrutyartham ayur arogya sichyartham jata karma karishye karishyami like that they say with this sankalpa father keeps the child on his lap and performs the karma which is called as jata karma jata ashaucha means uh, which uh, stays for 10 days the inauspiciousness occurring because at that time the mother and the baby of course for few months uh, would not have any sort of resistance so easily any infections may come so they take care of the mother and child so they keep them in a separate holy pious neat place and all people normal people should not come there without cleaning themselves so we take care of on the 11th day after mangala snana and all according to the scriptures the leaves of neem tree vepa chettu is a vepa vruksha 
then vavilaku vavila tree will say they should be mixed in the water and boiled thoroughly because these leaves got herbal powers which remove the body pains of that balintharalu we say that lady who delivered so then cool water should be mixed cold water should be mixed in that hot water so that the water becomes new formed and then a sesame oil seed nubula nune as we say should be applied to the body of both the baby and the mother which gives strength to the nerves and bones also so such baths are very much needed they used to give health and strength to the body then we call as nalugupindi in fact a sort of a fragrant paste would be applied to the body so that the oil applied to the body would be uh, after body absorbing that that would be removed so and also that gives brightness and luster to the body and body shines so after this apyangana snana the smoke of sambrani and guggilam we say that should be applied to the bodies and specially to the head and care of the mother and the baby also so that the coolness will not remain in the on the head for more time because by that cold may occur to them so they should wear new clothes for any festivals we wear new clothes and worship gods so uh, they should give such a bath to the baby first and then the baby would be normally in our tradition we keep the baby after this holy bath in a chata we say a sort of uh, a plate made with uh, palm tree leaves covering that with silk garment uh, mostly um, menama menattas we say uh, sari we used to keep there and keep the baby until mother's uh, to apyangana snana is completed this baby should be taken care by someone not even for a single second they should leave the baby without the protection because uh, so many cases are there if they just keep the baby on the chatta and go away some even dogs will come and uh, snatch or monkeys may come any harm may occur to the baby so the baby should be kept inside the room bedroom and then somebody should be there to take care of baby so on the 11th day onwards they can wear uh, any stitched clothes but till uh, 11th day when this uh, uh, jata shaucha goes and mangala snana they do till that time only the baby should be wrapped with old clothes only not new clothes and then this baby after giving this bath we apply chadu we say as bottu bindu and then as the uh drushti dosha parihara not also we we'll just keep on the face or on the palms or even to the feet also sometimes we apply then uh, kartika we say therma uh, collyrium collyrium we apply to the eyes of the baby so that the eyes become very broad and beautiful with black pupils then if there is any defect in the birth star of the baby then the father should see the reflection of the face of the child in a bowl filled with sesame oil nubula nune we say so after this process mother and father should sit on wooden planks petalu we say keeping the uh, child on their lap and then they do all these rituals ishta ganapati puja we do first and then ishta devata puja with shoda sopacharas then pitru devatas they worship they salute and seek their blessings then all this process we know so completely this puja is to be done and then ayur krutam we say at that time uh, honey mixed with cow ghee should be applied to the tongue of the baby first by father then by mother and then by grandparents Uh, husbands that is fathers father and mother and then main mama that is her uh, brothers and then her parents all others they just use so this honey and ghee mixture uh, this is considered to be very holy and it removes the kapha vata pitta sandal of the baby so that is for the uh, good health of the baby so agni karya homa should be done 
then all these vedic culture as per the horoscope of jatakam yes it is there certainly the moment the nose comes out that time is to be noted down as the birth time of the baby and see according to that time har jataka his the baby's jataka horoscope would be prepared so all at that time what all graha nakshatras are there that would be har jataka his jataka so all this process then after that the priest should blesses the couple wife husband and the child shatamanam bhavati shatayu purusha shetendriya ka ayu shevendriye prati tishtati prati tishtatu like that they uh, bless and then all other uh, parents relatives also bless this couple and the child then harati would be given to them to ward off uh, drishti dosha and all so in some cases when the child is born on suppose jyestha nakshatra or aslesha nakshatra and for the first time suppose jyestha putra putrika then also the parents uh, of both uh, that is the girl and bride and bridegroom both the parents they should do they have to perform gundala shanti we say very big shanti homas they have to do then they must to feed their relatives friends unknown people as many as possible should be given uh, healthy good tasty food so that they bless the people these to be very healthy and happy then that uh, jayasthana nakshatra dosha would be removed then the father should himself or may keeping the priest should do jayasthana mantra japa so that mantra japa pleases the star the ashtana devata of that nakshatra and that would be for the good of the baby then namakarana samskara naming ceremony cradle ceremony we say bala sare or bara sala sometimes we uh, twist the letters so this is called as namakarana mahotsava even this is utsava besides samskara so this samskara is done mostly as a festival with all the relatives friends neighbors and all so when the child is born it will not have any name till namakarana is done to the baby to give an identity then till that time the baby is called as a certain person's baby either by the name of the mother or the father so uh, babe, father's name they say and baby like that they used to call or mother's name they used to call so the baby should be given a good name for the identity so for varali uh, fires the name is very much essential the baby must have a name to be called by parents and relatives and to get admission into the schools or colleges or while growing so many vyavaharas would be there either for purchasing land or selling for anything at the time of upanayana at the time of marriage every for each and every samskara we utter that name of that baby so name is very essential so the newly born baby needs an, a certain good name gotra namas uh, and sometimes they keep the gotra nama as the nama or nakshatra nama as the nama name and vyavahara nama also would be kept so mostly at the time of namakarana the priest keeps the masa nama nakshatra nama and then vyavahara nama sometimes they wish to keep the uh, maharshi's namas uh, to which gotra they belong as the name to their children so that they are uh, praying and remembering the maharshi's so like that or sometimes they keep pitru pitamaha prapitamaha one of their names also they keep because they are their progeny so each and every individual needs a name either girl or a boy either for buying selling etc all these points we said so it is very important that the offering uh, the child is named perfectly uh, on an auspicious day so thus giving the name uh, would give longevity to the child 
and name and fame and property prosperity to the baby so actually why parents name their children this is actually the shastra says that it is for the parents to obtain moksha liberation so for the sake of getting salvation they name their children why because the story of ajamila says it is an example of this the purpose and fortune of getting this baby is attainment of moksha even after getting human body manava upadhi if we do not try to get mukti then certainly we are the losers mahati vinashtihi says the upanishad so people spend their entire span of life uh, happily engaging in all vyavaharika um, pursuits laukika vyavaharas they might be doing several uh, penances also uh, dharmika karyakramas also and even then uh, even though they they might have donated a lot also that is acquiring punya but at the time of leaving the body they may or may not remember god's name so yam yam vapi smaran bhavam chedan chante kale baram tam te me tam tam eva eti kaunte ya sada tad bhava bhavita says bhagavad gita so whomever the person thinks at the time of leaving the body accordingly according to that feeling that another upadhi will come to the uh, this person the jeeva so if we think of god knowingly or unknowingly then divinity would come to us we will be able to reach god could so for the sake of that we must keep very good names of gods devata namas to our children so normally at the time of leaving the body immediately they always long to wish to see the face of their own children either son or daughter so they call them by name and thus by uttering that name because that name is of god god considers that this jeeva is calling him only thus the punya comes to this baby uh, to this person who is about to leave the body so thus they get uh, moksha they go to heavenly abode and all uh, if one while thinking of the name of bhagwan either shiva rama krishna or vishnu or any such good name or jagannatha parvati sarada uh, ambika sarvani like that then if they keep such names to the babies they remember automatically these names and thus they think of paramatma and god jadapharta story i think all of you are aware of it even then uh, he became famous by name jadapharta his name is bharata who uh, is actually born in a uh, dynasty of kings he is the king in fact he is very uh, very righteous and he used to do his intended sins till hood he is engaged himself in acquiring brahma gnana which is in fact worthy to be uh, the duty of brahmin so uh, he is in fact a brahma gnani we can say so he is very much interested in acquiring brahma gnana throughout his life he is very pure very pious sir is parents studied all shastras worship elders did all good and then he renounced uh, renounced the world he went to the forest to do penance and to get moksha liberation but at that time due to his um, bad luck this bharata he happens to see a deer delivering she delivers a baby and then immediately the mother deer dies so the newly born small baby deer in a pathetic condition uh, seeing that uh, his heart melts into uh, karuna daya love affection and all bhuta daya is very noble quality but mamakara should not be there so this uh, bharata he took care of that uh, deer and it is good to take care of that baby that uh, newly born uh, deer till it grows Um, and becomes capable of living itself but this person developed attachment to towards 
the deed. Then he stopped all his austerities, doing penance. He forgot about the salvation, his final aim. Then he became very much indulged in taking care of this deed. Then the ultimate time has come. He has to leave the body. That jiva has to go. Actually, he should have got liberation, mukti, if this is not sin, but it is there in his fate. So because he worried that if he leaves and goes away, who will take care of this deer? What happens to the fate of this deer? So with that attachment, thinking of the deer, he died, left the body. So in the next birth, he was born as a deer. But he, because he is a very Atsatmika Veta and almost Brahma Veta, so uh, he remembered his past. So he repented. Even though he is born as the deer, he never mingled with all other deeds. He never enjoyed all eating this grass and all. He stayed in a sort of meditative state. And then thus thinking of God, he left that body. Then again, he was born in a very noble Brahmin family, Orthodox family. There again, he studied all Shastras, did penance, renounced and got liberated. He got mukti. So that is how we should always uh, think of God at the time of leaving the body. That occurs only when throughout the life we are very chaste, very pious, uh, think of God and divine ideas. Then only it becomes possible. Then Ajamila's story is another good example. Ajamila was born in a noble Brahmin family. He studied all Vedas, Shastras. He used to uh, serve his parents, gurus, teachers, and all with utmost respect. He got married to a very worthy, virtuous, chaste woman uh, befitting to him. And both of them, they led a very happy married life with all uh, religious rites performing. So when all this is going on happily, then due to his misfortune, sometimes it happens due to our Purva Janma, Vasanas, Karmas, which we have to undergo. So he happens to see, he goes to the forest to collect uh, Samitha Sandal. Then um, due to ill fate, he happens to see a couple there. Then that lady, uh, seeing her and her gestures, he uh, becomes passionate. He falls in love with her. Then somehow he uh, talks with her and marries her. So thus that is illegal. That is not worthy to him, in fact. So he becomes corrupted. So he's cast, he, uh, he neglects his wife. He did not go even to the house. He neglected his parents, mother, father, and his kulasri, his wife. He uh, started to spend time with this illegal wife and then he got children, so many children. And the last son's name he kept by his fortune as Narayana. So he was very much longing for his last son, youngest one. So thus he left the whole life and uh, uh, he became sick. He was on deathbed. Then he could see Yamapdutas, Yamapatas standing on both the sides of himself. They are ready. The moment the uh, exact time comes, these Yamadutas will uh, the, stretch the pasha and take the jiva and go away. They, he knows that he is knowing that he is about to die and Yamadutas will take him away. He became very much frightened. He wants to see his youngest son. So he loudly uttered, Narayana, Narayana, please come to my rescue. I am so like that. He, he called his name out, uh, his son's name out of love and Mamata, Mamakara. Even then, because he uttered very loudly with whole heart, Narayana, Narayana, immediately uh, Narayana Dutas, Vishnu Dutas came there. Though he uttered with Putra Moha, even then. So the moment when this Vishnu Dutas came, they asked Yamadutas to go away. Even though Yamadutas said he is very bad, he is very crooked, cruel, this, that and all, and not harmika, unrighteous. Then Vishnu Dutas said, because he called Narayana, so he should be taken to uh, Nara and Vaikuntha only. We will take care of that person. You go away. So the Yamadutas left. 
the moment yamadutas left immediately even vishudutas disappeared all this this person ajamila is watching he is seeing all this then he repented a lot he thought that just for one moment i called my son with putramoka but narayana i uttered the name of vishnu then he is so kind and compassionate that he has sent vishnu dutas now the life has not gone the jeeva is still there the prana is still there in ajamila because he lamented he prayed he was given a chance by god then he repented and thought in his mind that he has spoiled his life by his hands so he left his parents wife and unnecessarily he destroyed and ruined his own life uh, being in the company of such a uh, unworthy lady and delivering the children and all so he repented he prayed god that please give me a chance to get liberation to uh, remote so he prayed to do prayas chitta so god gave life to him slowly he recovered uh, his ill health has gone he became healthy then without telling a single word to this illegal wife and children he just left uh, to the forest he went outside then he started to do meditation thinking of completely doing tapas and all he did so many dharmika karyakramas the money which he has earned he used to uh, keep at some different places so such money some money he took and completely he spent for donations danas and dharmika karyakramas and slowly he now this passion for his uh, bad conduct it has completely gone he removed uh, he repented a lot so he went on pilgrimage he visited all gods and prayed them there he started to do daiva nama smarana and penance and finally he left the body while uh, doing meditation thinking of god and he got liberated he got mukti so by this story one may wonder how is it possible that to get mukti spending the whole life, most of the lifetime unrighteously just by calling the name of god once that once or twice that too for calling with putra moha the son in fact he did not call the god he shouted for his son even all these are there even then uh, he uttered the name with uh, uh, repentance that came from his whole heart inside the heart and later he uh, repented also for his bad deeds he did he wanted to do paschatapa and also because since the birth he did so many rituals righteous deeds he behaved in a very dharmika manner so that punya came to his rescue now so god gave the chance and he could get moksha yam yam vaapi smaran bhavam tyajan tyante kalevaram tam tame vaiti kaunteya tada sada tad bhava bhavitah che and parmatma also said in bhagavad gita hajate mam ananya bhakuyava thinks of me without thinking others i will take care of him so sathureva samantavyo samyak vyavasito hi saha also so even though a person misbehaves if he repents then he should be considered as a sadhu noble person so this is the secret in fact the arti which is there in the heart of the person the voice of uh, the sajamila reached paramatma and because of the meritorious deeds he did and later repented all these paved the way for him to get liberated in that very janma so the cause is at the time, last time he called his name his son's name narayana so we must name the children good names of gods this is the strength of the vasanas of and previous samskaras so paschatapa and prayaschitta are so great that what all sins a person commits that would completely be nullified and removed so this narayana uh, his strong will to acquire narayana paramatma vishnu loka vaikuntha that is completed now so by calling his son narayana god gave him the opportunity so 
to get punya we must punya means doing all dharmika works good meritorious deeds gives us punya uh, having wrong ideas and doing the works which afflict others gives papa to us so with efforts we must always be away from papa with whole hearted efforts we must do righteous deeds and acquire a lot of punya by which chitta suddhi occurs the mind would be purified it becomes ready to get real knowledge brahma jnana and thereby jnana devatu kaivalyam so we get mukti so now we should know how the method of naming uh, naming has come and why we are keeping names to our children who named whom first that should be known it is given in the shastras actually veda mata when the creation occurred then that the moment itself the vedas emanated vedas became exhibited veda gnana is given so veda sarkala veda purusha or veda gayatri mata we say that veda mata she called para brahman as para brahman that is the first naming who is para brahman the ultimate reality there is one power by which the whole universe is created being maintained and into that all this universe merges at the time of pralaya so that one power is called as brahman in upanishads we call as god bhagavan either vishnu or shiva or brahma any name and all the gods demigods also semigods we say prakriti devata sandal by any name whatever name and form is given to that god so whatever name is given that name uh, protects the person so that is the greatness in fact so veda mata called that para brahman as para brahma brahman means brumha vistarane that power which is pervading the whole universe is brahman para means above beyond even beyond this universe padosya vishwa putani tripada samrutan divi vise what all is being this whole vishwa which is universe seen by us is only one fourth of that ultimate reality paramatma para brahma three fourths are still above which is not at all seen and known by us so this vedamata gayatri mata vedamata named para brahman as para brahman for the first time that is the naming so para brahma i explain these two words so para brahma is uh, was started to be called as para brahman that is veda mata named so prajapati chaturmukha brahma deva came out of the brahma deva is the first uh, that is swayam puva we say of course he himself was born because he could not see any others but that paramatma para brahma gave birth to hiranya garbha brahma who is called as chaturmukha brahma or brahma deva the creator so this brahma deva started to do his work work of creation srishti karya a super power when he is about he started to do the srishti karya a wonderful super power appeared in front of him in front of brahma deva while watching this brahma deva is watching that wonderful power which appeared in the form of a sort of luster veluhu kanti that itself divided into eight forms ashtamurtis so with the eight forms it appeared then this brahma deva <coughs> gave names to all these eight powers which appeared in front of him that is the uh, actual naming vedamata giving para brahma naming is first one but that is transcendental nameless formless unseen unknown uh, by us and all but now here this brahma deva he named all these eight murtis as rudra sharva pasupati ugra asheti bhava mahadeva and ishana these are the names given by brahma deva to 
that power which divided itself into eight forms. So these eight are called as God, uh, that they are called as the original uh, eight Shiva forms, the eight forms of Ishvara, Ashtamurtis, Shiva's Vishwarupatis. So original octaves, we say. The names bring good fortune to all living beings. So, Jata Nantaram Eva Namakaranam Eka Dashakne Sputam Dasham Yam Uthitayam Snatayam Putrasya Nama Dadati. So, the father gives the <coughs> newly born baby can be named at the time of Jata Karma on 11th day itself. While performing Jata Karma, Nama Karana can be done. Grahadosha Nivarana Pujas should be done. And then later, Namakarana also can be done. If suppose on 11th day, they do not name, then on 21st day, mostly on 11th day, we do only Swasti Punya Havatika, then uh, Jata Karma and uh, all that, that would be done. And Namakarana would be done on either 21st day or 25th day or 29th day after first month. Mostly on 11th day also some people do. So according to the astronomical signs, seeing the good star for the baby, uh, newly born baby, and also for the father first. Then seeing an auspicious muhurta, this namakarana should be performed. And along with that, we do cradle ceremony, keeping the baby in the cradle. Uh, even that uh, is that is called as bala sare. A sort of sare would be given to the bala, that newly born baby. So all this procedure uh, is done as per the Shastras. So normally to do on the 11th day or 21st day, we need not have to see any special significant uh, auspiciousness of the stars or day for father and baby. But if we cannot do on those days, then we must see that day as per counting the stars. Actually, how to see good star for anyone, for all of us, uh, 27 shots are there. So they should be divided into 999 nine, nine, like that. Then Janma, Sampat, Vipat, Chema, Prachik, Satana, Naitanam, Mitram, Parama, Mitram. Cha. This is how we must count. After 9, again we have to leave the fingers and again start counting the same. First one is Janma. Starting, from, suppose we want to see a good star for myself, then I must start with my own nakshatra setafisha, like that. So for the baby, whatever the nakshatra is of the baby, or the father or mother or vara or vatu, for anyone, whomever star we want to see, we must start counting the stars with that star. Suppose it is Jesta Nakshatra or Aswini, suppose you can know easily. Aswini, Parani, it starts. So suppose a person's star is Aswini. Then Aswini, Parani, Kritika, Rohini, Murugasira, Ardra, Punarvasu, Pushyami, Aslesha. Then we have to leave. Then again, we have to start counting nine. So that's nine, nine, nine. All 27 comes. So Aswini, Janma Nakshetra. Janma Nakshetra is neither bad nor good at some... For some cases, we do not count this as auspicious, but for some occasions, even Janma Nakshetra is to be counted as good. Then, second one is always good, Sampatara, Sampadalu, prosperity. So, second one is very good. Vipat, third one is then Aswini, Parani, Kritika. So, for Aswini person, Parani is good, Sampatara. Kritika is third one, so Vipat, Apadalu. Calamities, so that is not good. Then fourth one is Chematara, it's very good. Then fifth one is Prichyat, means uh, whatever we do, negative result will come. Then uh, Janma Sampat Vipat Chema Prichyat. Sixth one is Sadhana. Sadhana Muna Panulu Samakuru Tharalona, that is how we say. By Sadhana, the means of doing what we can achieve the goals. So Sadhantara is good. Then Nithana, <coughs> this Nithana Tara is very bad. We should never take that. Nithana means death. So we have to leave it. 
then eighth one is mitra tara very good friends always do good only then ninth one is parama mitra tara very best friend so eighth and ninth are very good so thus we have to count this is not in connection with this but i am telling because all of you are can utilize this janma sampat vipat kshema pratyek sadhana naidanam mitram parama mitram cha so that is how we have to see shastra dharma shastra says that ayur varcho purithischa sithir vyavakrute stata tatha nama karma phalantve tat samuttishtam manishifi so we perform this namakarana mahotsava to the newly born children with the intention that the child should grow up with strength vigor luster and medhas intelligence and live long full span of life the name we keep should be pleasant to listening easily we we should be able to utter it easily clearly and also that should have good meaning so befitting and worthy and very significant it such name should be selected nowadays people they are crazy they are just saying into computers and some a meaningless names of let word words they are keeping as names that's not good we the name must have divinity in it that should be the name of either forefathers or gods devi devatas so the parents of baby should first pray for the blessings of maharshis vamsa rushis then gods then ancestors of uh, their dynasty of uh, forefathers we say then worship ishta devatas kula devatas and all worshiping fire god they have to enkindle the fire pray uh, fire god and then through fire god all other gods should be worship so by offering oblations aakutis into the fire we uh, give it we offer them to all the gods to whomever gods we name and offer this agnihotra with swaha devi with swaha mantras we must put uh, hands over these aakutis uh, uh, or oblations to those gods so uh, then the father of the baby should pray and seek the permission of all the sadasyas sabha sadas who ever are present they have come to see witness so that function then sabha satpurusha mache nama prakatana sichyartham anumatim prarthayami thus he request the permission to be given to him by all of them to name the baby to keep name to his baby so those who are present there will permit him automatically naturally then he should salute to them saying sabhayai namaha he must do a pranama to all the sadasyas who ever came relatives friends and all <clears throat> and then according to the procedure of shastras as done by the priest he should name the child tell the name three times in the right ear of the child and then announce the name of the baby to the uh, public loudly names are given based on baby's uh, date of birth time of birth then the month date star and in which pada of that star the baby is born was born so in this way the name of the month masa nama comes first then the nakshatra nama comes second and then according to the pada each star got four padas 27 stars divided uh, multiplied by four padas each star got four padas prathama pada dvitiya tritiya chatuttha so total 108 padas are there <clears throat> who ever is born in this world has to take birth in one of these 108 padas that is why every day nitya puja we Uh, worship gods with 108 namas ashtotra satanama puja we say to please all the gods of these 108 padas of stars so that is the secret behind this ashtotra satanama puja and then so uh, the name should be selected like this 
first nakshatranama, second, and then Vyavahara Nama. Vyavahara is for Vyavahara only, uh, for Laukika. Whatever the name the parents want to put, that would be kept third time, as the third name. So, Akshamalika Upanishad, there is a Upanishad, there it gives the meanings and greatness of all the letters, starting from R to a last letter. All these letters, Akshamala, the colors of the letters, the deities, each and every letter got one Athishtana Devata. So, all the divinities, divine powers, all the names of gods of all these letters are given in that Akshamalika Upanishad. You can uh, see that. So, uh, thus, the, each and every letter got divine power in it, besides Shabda Shikti. Each letter got a Shabda. The moment we utter the letter, the power comes out. So, uh, in our Panchangam, we can see the uh, letters with such with which names uh, we have to start according to the father of the birth star of the baby. Uh, in Panchanga, it is given Edachi, Chulu, La, like that they give for all these 108 fathers, it is given in Panchangam. The priests also they see Panchanga and uh, accordingly they name. So that Nakshetra Nama would be Masanama would be kept according to the Masa, the month, Chaitra, Vaisaka, Jesta, Ashada, Sravana, Padrapada, Aspira, Kartika, Margasira, Pushya, Maka, um, Palguna. So uh, like that, all the 12 Masas, in which Masa he is born or she is born, the names are given in Panchanga. So seeing that name, we can know in which month the baby is born. Then the a name Nakshetra Nama should start with the particular letters given in Panchangam as per the Pada of the star of the birth of the baby. So by that, we can know in which, what is the Nakshetra of that baby. These will be very much useful at the time of setting the marriages. So horoscope to prepare the horoscope and all of the bride and bridegroom. Then Vyavahara Nama is of course depends on the will and wish of parents. Now, coming to the letters of stars, for example, if the baby is born on Aswini Nakshetra, Aswini Bharani Kuttika Visha, Aswini is the first star. So, the name starts with the, the name should start with the letters Chu, Che, Cho, La. These are the letters for first, second, third and fourth Padas in a row, in the same sequence. Similarly, uh, there are letters for four padas of all 27 stars. Total 108 letters are given. Anybody uh, has to take birth in uh, one of these uh, 108 padas of all 27 stars. So accordingly, that name should be kept. Now the masanamas for both girls and boys are given in our panchangams. So panchangams are so great. Our Maharshis are so great that just by their divine power, power of meditation, they could see the stars and they wrote these Panchangams since the starting of the universe, creation. Never any other person got such wonderful power except our Maharshis. So for girls, the names uh, are given. 12 months are there, so 12 names are given in the Panchangam. They are Marga Sirshecha Vag Devi, Pushye Padmavati Tatha, Sri Devi Chapi Savitri, Bhumihi Kalyaniki Tatha, Satche Bhama Punyavati, Rupavati, Indumati Api, Chandravati Cha Lakshmi Cha, Stri Nama Karane Shucha. These twelve are the names of Masa Namas of girls. So, in whichever Masa the baby is born, we keep. Either Kalyani, Sri Devi, Savitri, like that. These are the Masanamas. Then for boys, the names are given as Krishnaha, Anantaha, Achyutaha, Chekri, Vaikunthaha, Atha, Janardanaha, Upendro, Yajna Purusho, Vasudeva, Statha, Harihi, Yogi Shaha, Pundari Kaksho, Masanamani, Masanamani, Anukramat. Anukramat means in the sequence, these are the 12 
నేమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ట్వెల్వ్ మంత్స్ స్టార్టింగ్ విత్ చైత్ర చైత్ర వైశాఖ జ్యేష్ఠ అండాల్ సో ఇఫ్ ద నామకరణ సంస్కార ఈ సెలబ్రేటెడ్ ఎయిదర్ ఆన్ లెవెంత్ డే ఆర్ ట్వంటీ ఫస్ట్ డే వీ నీడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ టు సీ స్పెషల్ ముహూర్త ఐ సెట్ అదర్వైజ్ వీ మస్ట్ సీ శుభ ముహూర్త కౌంటింగ్ తిథి వార నక్షత్ర ఎవ్రీథింగ్ నార్మల్లీ దశమి ఈజ్ ఆల్వేస్ గుడ్ పంచమి సప్తమి ఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ వెరీ ఆస్పీషియస్ స్టార్స్ ఏకాదశి బిఫోర్ చతుర్దశి బిఫోర్ పౌర్ణమి ఈజ్ గుడ్ ఏకాదశి ఈజ్ ఆల్సో గుడ్ సమ్టైమ్స్ సమ్టైమ్స్ పీపుల్ మే నాట్ బికాస్ దే అబ్జర్వ్ ఏకాదశి వ్రత కీపింగ్ ఫాస్టింగ్ అండ్ ఆల్ సో అండ్ సీయింగ్ ద స్టార్స్ సంపత్తార క్షేమతార ఆర్ సాధన తార మిత్ర పరమమిత్ర స్టార్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ గుడ్ ఫర్ సెలెక్టింగ్ ముహూర్త ఫర్ ఎనీ ఆస్పీషియస్ వర్క్ సో ఆన్ దట్ ఆస్పీషియస్ డే ఫాదర్ మదర్ చైల్డ్ షుడ్ టేక్ హోలీ బాత్ మంగళ స్నాన వేర్ న్యూ క్లాత్స్ దెన్ ఫ్యామిలీ ప్రీస్ట్ ఫ్యామిలీ పురోహిత ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ పురోహిత ఎంప్లాయిడ్ బై అస్ అట్ దట్ టైమ్ టు పెర్ఫార్మ్ ద రిచువల్స్ షుడ్ కమ్ దీర్ అండ్ ఆల్ రిలేటివ్స్ షుడ్ బి ఇన్వైటెడ్ అండ్ దే ఆల్సో విల్ కమ్ ఆన్ దట్ డే అట్ దట్ టైమ్ so the parents keeping the child on the lap should sit on the wooden planks we say pitalu stretching a cloth over that and all so as per the shastras all this are to be done first always vinayaka puja shod sopachara puja should be done uh, normally for any uh, religious rites in our tradition in our custom uh, the wife should sit at the left side of husband వామ భాగ ఆల్వేస్ బికాస్ అవర్ వామ ద హాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ద లెఫ్ట్ పార్ట్ ఆఫ్ పరమేశ్వర గేవ్ హిజ్ లెఫ్ట్ హాఫ్ టు పార్వతి మాత ఇన్ అర్థనారీశ్వర స్వరూప సో లెఫ్ట్ పార్ట్ ఈస్ వైఫ్ అండ్ రైట్ పార్ట్ ఈస్ హస్బెండ్ బట్ ఫర్ దిస్ నామకరణ ద వైఫ్ షుడ్ సిట్ ఆన్ రైట్ టు హర్ హస్బెండ్ దట్ ఈస్ ఎ లిటిల్ చేంజ్ ఈవెన్ ఫర్ అస్ హూ ఫాలో ఆపస్తంభ గృహ సూత్రాస్ అండ్ దెన్ కృష్ణ యజుర్వేద శాఖ ఈవెన్ ఫర్ దెమ్ ఓన్లీ ఫర్ దిస్ వన్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ సో ఫర్ దిస్ నామకరణ ద వైఫ్ సిట్స్ ఆన్ రైట్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ హర్ హస్బెండ్ అండ్ దెన్ కీప్ ద ఫాదర్ షుడ్ కీప్ ద బేబీ ఇన్ హిస్ ఆన్ హిజ్ ల్యాప్ కీపింగ్ ద ఫేస్ టు టువర్డ్స్ రైట్ సైడ్ రైట్ హ్యాండ్ so and thus namakarana should be done he has to keep the baby on the lap and taking the plate he must write a silver plate with full of rice should be taken keeping a bit of leaf in the middle of that plate or separate the small silver plate also can be kept on this plate uh, keeping a little kumkuma paspu turmeric kandal and keeping uh, these bit of leaves then ganapati made with turmeric pasupu ganapati as we say should be kept there uh, and we have to keep kumkuma the moment we keep kumkuma the divine power automatically comes and enters into it then later we do prana pratishta to that so after we have to do shodasopachara puja after naivedya harati mantra pushpa punak puja all this procedure uh then that uh, puja phala should be offered to ganapati later sarvam sri maha ganadhipati charanar vindarpana mastu that is how we say so after that while uttering the words ganapati yatha sthanam praveshayami shobhanartham punaragamanaya cha we must keep that ganapati we have to move a little and put that uh, uh, at a little distance if it is the plate the plate can be kept if it is only tar on the leaves bitter leaves then the ganapati along with the leaves can be taken and kept at the on that puja dayas will be there there on puja mantapa we can keep then after that again the mother father uh, keeping the child they have to take again this uh, sankalpa they take this kesho namas that is the procedure all of you know that now the father has to take that big silver plate filled with rice into his hands then holding the darpa ring to the ring finger the uh, ring made with darpa that fast he should his hand should be and also a golden sil- golden ring without stones also should be taken and with that golden ring without stones he has to part that rice drawing two lines 
making three parts. Then on the first upper part, he has to write Masanama. Then in the middle, uh, he has to write Nakshatranama. Then in the third part, he has to write Vyavahara Nama. So those two lines, if he draws, three parts will be coming. So whatever name the priest says according to this baby's uh, uh, birth time, Masa, etc. Masanama, then the father has to write that and say, uh, Masanama si Srihi. We say Masanama si Srihi. Then again, Nakshatra Nama, he has to write and say, Nakshatra Nama, Nakshatra Nama si Srihi. Nakshatra Nama Asi means you are Asi. That C indicates that it is intended to that baby, boy or girl. So now you are being named with this name, Nakshatra Nama. And then uh, similarly, Vyavahara Nama. Also, he must say and write Masa Nama Si Srihi like that. So a father has to utter three times. All these three names saying the names of mantra, month, masa, then nakshatra, star, and then vyavahara nama as masa nama, trutva, nakshatra nama, trutva, vyavahara nama, trutva, setaishman, pava, setaishmati, pava, vartasva, like that. He must bless the child after uttering these three names three, three times into the right ear of the baby. First, father has to name. Then, mother utters the same names in the right ear, then blesses the child. Later, grandparents and all other relatives, of course, then they should take care that the akshatas will not fall on the face and uh, eyes or mouth of the baby. They should ward it off a little and the akshata should fall only on the head. So, it is known from the Dharma Shastras written by the sages like three. Gautama Maharshi, Paradvaja Maharshi, Kanva Maharshi, etc. Sages that the letters of the names of the boys should be of even number and girls should be odd numbers. So two letters or four letters names should be kept to the boys and three or five letters names to the girl babies. Normally they say sometimes, of course, they won't see. Even then, that is the custom. Then... And all the priest makes the father worship uh, the gods, these eight gods who are named by Brahmadeva, the Ishwaras, the original octaves. So after writing the names of the child, the plate should be kept on the ground uh, where actually it is made auspicious and Ashtadala Padma is drawn there. He, he must keep that. And Poka Chakkalu, we say, a sort of... Uh, and then along with Akshatas, he must put on all eight directions around that plate, that silver plate with uh, rice. So on all four directions of the plate, inviting and invoking the eight forms of Paramatma, Parabrahmanikis, Rudra, Sharva, Paspati, Ugra, Ashati, Bhava, Mahadeva and Ishana. And pray all of them to give auspiciousness to all of them. After worshipping these Ashtamurtis with Shodasa Upachara Pujas, uh, he must worship that plate, the names written on the rise of that silver plate because names are gods. So with Shodasa Upachara Pujas, he must worship all these uh, names written there. And then Naivija should be given, Haratis are to be given. Uh, then the Nama Devatas protect us. The parents and the child, thus when they are being worshipped properly, they bless. So then the father has to bow down to the Sapha Sadas. All people, whoever are come there, uh, have come there. Sapha Yei Namaka. Then he should keep the baby on the uh, right thigh, left thigh actually. After doing all this puja, he must write the names there. He has to keep that plate there and invoking eight gods, Ashtamurti, Ishwaras, he has to worship, do puja, Naiveja, Harati, and all. Then he must tell the names, uh, Nakshatra, Masanama, Nakshatranama, Vyavaharanama, three, three times into the right ear of the child. So after worshipping gods with their blessings, then the name should be given to the child with the permission of Safas.
though I said that three times she has to give the name only in the sequence normally I said. So when does the father keeping the baby on his right thigh uh, and elevating a little the head of the baby so that the baby should be able to hear properly, then he should utter. And later after uh, naming this baby, a father should hug baby, boy or girl. Angad Angad Sampavasi, Hurdayad Apijaya Se, Atma Vai Putra Nama, Twam Jeeva Saradas Shetam. You are I myself, I am born again like you. So there is no difference between both of us, we are one. And you live long, 100 years as per the Vedokta Purna Yudaya. 120 years is the span of life of human beings as per Shastra, Vedas. Shastra say that then the father has to smell the forehead of the baby. By smelling those at the head, the nature, the behavior, the talent of the child would be known. Uh, we have Brahma Rantha on the middle of the head. So, Madhu, we say. The father should smell there also and at the parting of the head there also. So, that is the process. So, uh, thus by smelling, they can know about the baby. In the olden days, uh, they used to, normally, nowadays, of course, we uh, we just kiss on the cheeks, forehead and all. But Shastra says that one should never kiss anyone at any time, their children also, only it is smelling. They have to smell here, mood. even Dasharatha did the same to Ramachandra. Uh, now, Karna, actually, when Karna Kunti Devi left this Karna keeping in the basket and that part is, is in the flow of river Ganges, uh, then that uh, uh, he is named as Ratheya because Ratha Devi, the wife of that Sarathi, uh, who obtained that basket. Uh, so, he is Suta. Uh, Ratha Sarathi is called as Suta. So, when that Suta got that box, when he opened, he saw very bright, lustrous baby child. So immediately, he took that baby in hands, on his hands and smelled on the forehead. And immediately, he came to know that this baby is not just an ordinary boy. He might be uh, the progeny, the child of a very noble dynasty. Thus, he could recognize. Even then, he does not know uh, whose son he is. So he became father to that boy. So thus when father tells the name uh, of all these names in the year, then the mother should tell later all uh, elders and all. Then after this process, Mangala Harati should be given. So our Shastra tells that one should not tell one's own name or the name of his guru, his wife, his elder son, and also the name of a miser, Pisinari, we say. Atma Nama Guru Nama Nama Ati Krupana Syacha Shreyas Kamu Na Grutni Yat Jesta Apatya Kalatrayo Jesta Apatya means elder son, Kalatra means wife. One should not say directly his name. Sri Ramachandra used to say, I am Dasharati, I am the son of Dasharatha. He never said, I am Rama. So after completing Namakarana Makutsava, the child should be placed in the cradle. Even that is a sort of uh, the decorated cradle with flower garlands and all we have to decorate. First, the mother, through the hands of mother, uh, mother-in-law or sister-in-laws, and then her mothers, uh, this girl's mother, sisters and all, they should, our custom is over this, above this cradle, the mother hands over the baby to her mother first. Then she from behind, below the cradle, hands over. Again, she gives to, gives it to mother-in-law. Again, she gives it. Then sister-in-laws like that, uh, they keep the baby in the hands of other person and from above, from below, she takes again. That is the process given in Shastra. Then after doing those three times, the mother keeps the baby on the cradle facing towards east and emit that would be decorated and even before that uh, on four sides tambula should be kept and then a baby uh, doll either made with palm leaf or wood wooden 
doll bommalu antam kada so that uh, uh, some uh, baby uh, doll should be kept there nowadays plastic dolls are available even that can be that would be a companion to this baby because for 24 hours mother cannot stay near mother or father or anybody when the baby sleeps they go on their own works so then also our custom says that the baby should never be left even for a single second without company so in the in the form of that bomma that doll we pray goddess and request mangala gauri devi to be by the side of this baby and take care of her that is the meaning behind keeping a the a wooden um, baby uh, bomma there near that baby so thus the naming ceremony should be performed to the babies uh, and then the baby happily sleeps when kept in the cradle and swing so this is the uh, namakarana i thought even one or two can be done now but i could not so we will start from nishkramanam samskara tomorrow swasti for today dhanyavadamandi dhanyavadam <coughs> okay we will go for prarthana now there are a few four questions uh, we will do it later okay स्वस्थि प्रजाभ्यपरीपालयताेण महीं महीसा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु निोका समस्ता काले वर्षतु पर्जन्य पृथिवी सस्यशालिनी देशोय क्षोभरि ब्राह्मण सन्त निर्भया अपुत्र पुत्रिण सन्त पुत्रिण सन्त पौत्रिण अधना सधना सन्त जीवन सरदा सतम सच्यम वद धर्म चरा स्वाध्यायान्मा प्रमद सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्त सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यंत मा कचि दुख भाग भवे ओम शांति 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 ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्ण मेवा वसीष्य ओम शांति 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 सर्वे जन सुखिव स्वस्ति लास्ट श्लोक मैं चलगल ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्ण मुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्ण आदाय पूर्ण मेवा वसीष्य ओम शांति 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 तपन बिचिंद धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच नाउ गो फॉर जन गण मन जनगणमनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंधु गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जलधितरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जनगण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे जय हे जय धन्यवाद चल चिटीबाबू गुजरा